and family members of one of the victims killed near the University of Idaho is speaking out for the very first time. ABC's Kena Whitworth has the story. It's still very surreal. It's still very kind of like out of body a lot of times. This morning, as the class of 2023 prepares to graduate from the University of Idaho, the families of four students murdered in November are emotionally adjusting to a reality they never prepared for. I would have never thought a year ago or even six months ago when it, you know, that there was going to be a reason that Kaylee wouldn't be able to accept her own degree, that, that she wouldn't be here. Kaylee Gonzalez was set to graduate in December. Her four siblings will be accepting her posthumous degree for her. Just a way to remember her. I'm for that. I, I can do that. I think it's a way to show unity and respect for Kaylee and her hard work. I just feel that it's important for somebody to walk for her. The Gonzalez family also mourning the loss of Kaylee's best friend, Madison Mogan, who they considered a beloved member of their family as well. She doesn't have sisters. We are her sisters. Karen just lost her only daughters. Maddie's mom and stepdad will accept her degree Sunday, while junior Zanna Kernodal and freshman Ethan Chapin will be awarded certificates from the university. In an ABC News exclusive interview, Reed Ofsten, former president of Sigma Chi fraternity, remembering Ethan and Zanna. Just real charismatic, real funny, uh, real goofy, always putting a smile on other people's faces. So yeah, uh, when I heard they started dating, I was like, that's a perfect fit. Um, and while they cling to the memories of their loved ones, the families know tough days are ahead. I want to get the show on the road. I want to get to where we get to court. And that preliminary hearing is still slated for the end of June. I was also told that the university has plans to create a healing garden right on campus in a spot that each one of these students would have walked past every single day. Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles.